Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be setting up subscriptions, specifically when we're creating a message. Now this is where I really appreciate GraphQL Yoga, which is the server that we're using, because we actually don't even need to add any other packages to get subscriptions working. Here is an example they have on their GitHub repo of how to set up subscriptions. And you can see right here, they set up subscriptions in 40 lines of code, so that's awesome because uh, this is the entire server and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using something called PubSub and we get this from GraphQL Yoga and we're going to pass the PubSub. We're first going to create a PubSub but then after that we're going to pass it through the context of our server and then we're able to access that through the resolvers. So what we're going to do is we can call PubSub.Publish and when we pubsub.publish, what that's going to do is that notifies um, all the subscribers that, hey, we have a new message or a new um, thing to look at. So that's what we're going to set up today. So at first, we're going to uh, import pubsub, and that's coming from GraphQL Yoga. So I'm currently in start server on the server. We're going to install that. And I'm just going to create a new pubsub and then pass it through the context. So we're going to say pubsub is equal to new pubsub. Now I'm just going to look at what the type definition for this is because I want to use um, update my TypeScript types as well for my context. It doesn't tell me. Let's hover over this. All right, it's pubsub with capital P. So I'm going to pass the pubsub here. And then let's go to our types, GraphQL utils, and update that. So now we have another one called pubsub. And yeah, let's auto import that. All right, so I just got that type from GraphQL Yoga. I'm gonna move it up here. All right, so let's go ahead and add the subscription that we want, or at least in the GraphQL. So I'm gonna create a new module and I'm gonna call it new message. And I'm gonna call it schema.graphql. And I'm gonna copy what they do here. So I'm going to copy this type subscription. Now for us, we're going to say new message is what I'm going to call it. And then what I'd like to return is the message that we get. So it's going to be a message. And we already created this type right here, I think in the find. So it's this. So this is what we're going to return to the user. Um, and so let's go ahead and create the resolver for that. So resolvers.ts. And I can just copy this and I'm gonna get rid of this part this is gonna say subscription I believe um, let's see what they do yep they do subscription and then they say the name of theirs so counter is what they called it and then inside of that there's going to be a subscribe so for us I'm gonna call this new messages and I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff here have an object and I'm going to paste in the subscribe. Now I think it doesn't like it because this is actually something wrong with our resolver map. Um, so I'm expecting a, a key which is a resolver. In this case I want to say or an object that is a key string that evaluates to resolver. Uh, so in this case it should cover this case where we have another key here and then that all right so for this I'm going to ignore both the parent and the arguments and in this case I actually don't really care about pub sub um, all I really want to do here is return async iterator so I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff that is right here so I'm gonna say pub sub dot return async iterator and then here uh, we might be creating multiple subscriptions, so you need to have, supply a unique string per each one. So what I'm going to do is create a shared folder inside of the message. And inside that, I'm going to say constants, and I'm going to export const. And I guess I'll call this pub sub new message. And I'm just going to copy that, and that'll be the string. So then I can use that right here. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this to publish in our new message. So whenever we create a message right here, I can now access the pub sub. And so what's going to happen is when I subscribe to something, it's going to call the resolver over here and it's going to return an async iterator. And this is basically kind of like an, a listener. And then when I come over here, I can say pub sub dot publish and it's going to alert everyone who has subscribed that a new message is published. Now it's important in this case to use the same key. So I want to say pub sub new message so it matches um, this guy here. So that, that way it knows this is the particular subscription that I'm updating because you might have multiple subscriptions. Um, and the second one, this is going to be um, your data. And now this um, gets messed up constantly. Uh, I mess up myself and I see people get this messed up. It's very easy to get messed up. So here's how it works. Um, if we look at how they are doing their publish. So you have an object that wraps it. And then inside the object, there's a key. Um, and then what the key is going to be is whatever you named your subscription. So they named theirs counter. They have counter here. So back to our example, I named my new message. So I need to make sure and call mine new message for the key. And now I just realized I called this new messages. I'm going to replace that with new message because that should be the same key as I have here. So all those should match. So whatever I specify here should be in the resolver here and then should also be in our find over here. Now here, what do you put um, it equal to? Well, whatever your data type is. So in our case, we expect new message to be equal to a message. So I better put a message right here. So in this case, just whatever us creating it right here. So I'm going to say const message is equal to that. I guess we say message there. I'm going to call this database message and pass that in here. All right, so this is a message and uh, that's what we passed to our new message here. And this is the right data type. It has all the things that the GraphQL expects or that we specified right here. So now we can try this out. So my server's up and running, no crashes. Now I can actually try out subscriptions in the playground if I want to. So I'm going to open up a new tab and I want to just close one of these because it's getting messed up. And I'm going to say subscription and let's go ahead and use our new one. Let's go ahead and refresh so we get the new one. So new message and then I'm not sure if this works with data loader actually. So we're using data loader to fetch the user here. I want to first test that the subscription's working. So I'm just going to grab these two fields and then we can try uh, grabbing the other one. So this error message was pretty cryptic to me at first, but it turns out we got a lovely stack trace in our server. And if I click on it, it takes us directly to the problem child. And that is this request.protocol. So when we do a subscription, there's not a request in response because it uses WebSockets. So we tried to do basically dot protocol on something that's undefined. Um, so what we can do is add a ternary and say, if request exist, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just give it an empty string. Now I'm going to do the same thing for sessions. Otherwise, return undefined. And so now I'm thinking if uh, this is undefined or null or uh, same with this, we should now no longer crash when creating any of those. Um, it's fine to pass null or undefined just through that. Uh, whenever the request comes in, we don't use any of this stuff in the context. We just use this pub sub anyway, so we're fine. All right, so now I can click this, and now I'm listening. So now what I can do is I can come over here to create message. I can create one, and when it's done, I can see the data that I sent or that I created. Um, pop up over here so it says first message I can say second message and the second message should now pop up and I can scroll and I can see all the messages that happened 
So now I'm subscribed to all changes that happened on the subscription and I can see the data. So now I wanna do, uh, grab the user for this. So I'm gonna say stop and let's see if this works. Because this is also using data loader. So let's create it. And looks like it was able to fetch the user just fine uh, with data loaders, so that's awesome. Now, this is a great start to subscriptions, uh, but there's one problem with our current setup. So I'm listening to all the new messages that are getting created, um, but I don't really want to do that. So if I come over here, I guess I don't have the tab open anymore. I, what I want to do is fetch the uh, listings. So listings and ID. So here's the second ID. And if I were to create a message in basically a different listing, we would still see the message over here. So I guess I should name this so we see it differently. So third message. So now I see third message over here and I don't really care to know that this is the third message in this listing. Really when I subscribe to messages, I wanna just subscribe to the messages um, in the subscription or the listing that I have open. So we need to be able to filter the messages that are coming in. So that's what we'll cover in tomorrow's video.